one of many biblical examples of this allowing God to work in us uh, that Peter challenges these early converts to embrace and challenges us to accept uh, and, and allow uh, is, is illustrated by a story in Luke chapter 24. Two disciples are on their way out of Jerusalem after, after Jesus' death, after that horrible, horrible week. They're heading for uh, Emmaus. And along the way, they are joined by a third person who sees how, how downcast they are and asks them about it. Are you the only one, the only visitor to Jerusalem who doesn't know what's been happening, they respond? Well, you know, it turns out he's the only one who does know, really what's been happening and for the rest of their journey. This stranger that happens across their path explains to them what's really been happening and why it's been critically important. As they break bread together, having arrived at the inn, at Emmaus, they recognize him. It is Christ who has joined them, and on their hurried journey back to Jerusalem to share this good news with Jesus' inner circle, they say to one another, did our hearts not burn as he shared with us the scriptures, as he opened the scriptures to us? Did our hearts not burn within us. Uh, this wonder working, allowing themselves to be open to a word, a guide, a direction, an understanding, a shift in the very foundation from which they live. Uh, this is allowing God to bring salvation to your heart. Change them. Change them. It changes us. Uh, will you allow some heart burning experiences to season your day today? some heart warming, were our hearts not strangely warmed? This has been more from West Highlands United Methodist Church with a thought for your day, just another way of reaching out. Thank you.